Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. My today's project is how to make this gorgeous and very beautiful shadow box frame for Father's Day. So here I have created this super cute father and son pair who are doing the fishing work and celebrating the Father's Day and this whole frame is made using quilling strips and you can also stand it easily on your desk so without any delay let's start with the procedure here I have already given the template of this father and son duo on description box you just need to take a printout and then you can start coloring it so here I'm using my poster colors to color it. You can also use watercolors or chalk paints, acrylic colors, whatever color you have. But before doing the quilling work, you need to color it completely. So the coloring work is done, allow it to dry. Now I'm starting with making the face of the father. For this I'm taking total 4 strips of peach color in 3mm and making one big tight coil. My one strip length is 45 centimeters. So tight coil is ready, now I'm just sticking it on top of the face. Similarly for kid I have prepared this tight coil using 3 strips for face. For hands these tight coils are made using half half strips. For father's hands tight coils are made using 1-1 one, one strips each. So everything is connected, super easy to make. Then here I am adding small ear which is made using one fourth strip of peach color. This is simple teardrop shape and now I will start doing the outlining work of each part. So matching to the color of the dress I will take the quilling strip and just add little glue on the edge and start sticking these strips. You can manipulate the strip using tweezers it will help you a lot and slowly add the borders on all the edges matching with the base color
so shirt is ready similarly i will complete both the parts so the outlining is done and this is looking super cute here i have created the hat for the boy which is simple bended semi circle made using one strip of pink color and for father i have used two strips of black color and created the semi circle and added one strip for the front part of the hat created some dot designs using white and black gel pens for the shoe i have used one and half strip and one strip for both the people and also created the features using black and white gel pen super duper easy to create so this is done now i am just fussy cutting both the images using my scissors So the fussy cutting work is done and they are looking super duper cute. Now I am just keeping it aside and I will start making the shadow box frame. For this I am taking this white cardstock which measures 15 by 5 cm and from this side I have creased on 1, 2, 3 and 4 cm. Now folding all the creases and burnishing it. Then Put your ruler like this, mark on 1-1 one, one centimeters on both the corners. Then similarly mark on the second crease line on 1-1 one, one centimeters. Then joining this line and diagonally creating one line till the third crease line. Similarly repeating it here. And now we just need to cut the pencil mark. Then folding all the parts and adding glue on the last part and just sticking it like this. So you will get the pipe kind of shape which is the one side of the shadow box frame. Similarly I have prepared one more of the same size. Like this. So keeping it aside. Now for the third side I am taking this cardstock which is 12 by 5 cm and again I have creased on 1, 2, 3 and 4 cm. Now folding all the creases and this time we don't need to cut any extra paper. Just add glue on the last strip and connect with the first strip. So the pipe shape is ready. Similarly, I have prepared one more pipe. Now all four sides are done. Now it's time to construct the shadow box. And the shadow box is ready, allow to dry. Then I am taking one sheet which is 15 by 12 centimeters for back of the shadow box. Just putting my shadow box on top of this. And creating the inner part of shadow box using my pencil so that we know exact location where we have to paint the background. And putting both the figures on this so that we know the branch position. I will create here one tree branch on which the father and son are sitting. So just creating the light sketch using pencil. And now I am making the background using blue and green watercolor.
and the background is ready allow it to dry completely now I'm just creating some trees branches leaves on both the corners and also adding some grass in the bottom just to give little jungle look And this is done now on this line which we have created for the tree branch I'm adding little glue and I will stick brown color strip Similarly completing the bottom and this is done. Now I am filling the uh, part between these two strips using brown color and I have cut the strip from both the side little bit so that we can stick the shadow box. So approximately one centimeter gap you need to leave from both the sides. And this is done now I'm sticking my shadow box on top of this and also sticking the father and son duo on back side of both the images I have added double sided foam tape added two layers to give little dimension and then I'm sticking it on top of the branch And this is done very pretty then I'm starting with making the fishing instrument and for this I'm taking one fourth strip of black color in 3mm making one bended semicircle like a moon shape similarly I have prepared some more now taking one black color strip adding little glue on top of this and I will add these moon kind of shape with the strip Then on the first shape I will add one more piece of strip taking back the shadow frame I have already attached the instrument with the boy now I'm adding the instrument with the dad's hands this is little small so I'm adding one more strip with this Then creating little water effect to give realistic look using blue color. Like this. Then uh, in between these painted leaves I am adding some green color bended leaf shapes to add little dimensional look also adding some leaf shapes on this branch Then I am decorating the frame using this pattern paper cut out. Mm -hmm. 
and adding the sentiment in the bottom best dad Now I'm taking here white cardstock strip which is 28 by 3 cm and from left side I have creased on 3 15 20 25 and the uh, length is total 30 cm now we have to just fold it like this to create the stand for our shadow box and it should look like this now adding glue on both the folded parts and sticking it on back side of the shadow box so you can stand it easily and a super cool and beautiful idea for fathers day gifting purpose is ready you can simply create it and gift it to your dad i have added the blue color paper all around the frame to give it more finishing so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications i am waiting for your comments thanks for watching see you next time bye bye